Cutting the mic cable just keeps getting easier and easier. Years ago, I reviewed an early entry into prosumer wireless audio, and I had this to say. I'm really excited by the potential that this system could bring, and also knowing that it's a first-generation solution means that we'll likely see some competition in the space from other players, too. Yeah, more competition in the space means that we'll all get better kit, better accessories, and better hardware with probably more competitive pricing and some really cool feature sets that people haven't thought up just yet. I'm basically Nostradamus because since I made that video, we've been getting some incredible options at a variety of price points. And now Joby is taking the wraps off a whole line of new microphones under the Wavo label. I've spent a little time using the Wavo Air. They sent me some mics to play with and share my thoughts. Joby, of course, known for a whole range of photo and video accessories. I have more than a few Gorillapods lying around the gadget lab. They make some really fun activity stuff. The Weibo Air are a handy, flexible addition to this collection. Two wireless microphones which pair and transmit to a single receiver. This setup is built on speed and simplicity, but the kit comes wonderfully accessorized out of the box. We get charge cables for all three units, camera and smartphone audio cables, two wind muffs for the transmitters built into the microphones. Yeah, it's getting real windy right now. I'm hoping, hoping this little dead cat, yeah, I hope it's doing its job. And two cabled labs which is a really nice perk in this price tier. The Wavo is built on this socket system. Instead of a clip on the back, you can swap out different mounting options. In the box, we get clothing clips, a pole mount, and one magnetic mount, which I'm using right now on my hoodie. There's an optional accessories kit you can buy with more options like Velcro. Onto the Wavo themselves, the transmitters are a little larger than some of the options in this space. Microphone at the top, there's a 3.5 millimeter connector on the side. There's a USB-C charge port, and then we get gain controls on the transmitter, which is nice, that is handy. And then the front has a power button ringed with some green, red, and blue lights. Now, the lights on these units can get a little busy. One blue light shows the wireless connection, the other three blue lights show your gain. There are six discrete gain steps at around five decibels per step. The red light turns on when your battery is low, and the green light is used when you're charging. An immediate nitpick here, there is no charge indicator, you get a solid green light and then it turns off when it's done charging. You have no idea how much charge the unit has. This is tricky on portable gear where you can't immediately swap out the batteries. Maybe you only need about two hours of total runtime and you don't want to have to wait for a full charge on the transmitter. There's no way to know how much longer you have to wait. Also, I wish there was some kind of clip indicator on either the transmitter or the receiver, you know, using the little red light to flash if levels get too loud. Some on-unit information to help you set a level would be nice. I've got this connected to a portable recorder, and as I'm looking at my notes, on a teleprompter, I can't see my levels as clearly as I'd like to. The receiver is also tall, but it's a little narrower. I kind of wish they could reverse the casing, that the receiver were the chunkier solution and that the transmitters were a little bit thinner. But I digress. Power button with a small sync indicator on the front, 3.5 millimeter TRS jack on the side, USB-C charge only port, and a small green light by that charge port, again, it's solid green when it's charging and it turns off when it's done. Then to prevent accidental pairing issues, the mics came pre-paired to the receiver, but if you ever need to re-sync them or add a replacement mic, there's a SIM card pin tool that activates the pairing process. And that's the gig. They're simple, they're straightforward, they should be easy to use. Sound quality has been very good for this tier of prosumer audio. We're jumping right into a category where a number of companies have been playing for years now. The one thing I can't test as easily, the main concern I might have, the wireless signal operates in the same space as Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. If you have a clear line of sight and not a lot of competing noise, then they're gonna be really solid. If you try to use these in a more crowded environment, like a trade show floor, I'm not sure how well they'll be able to juggle signals to find less interference. I don't know that they'll be bad, I just can't test them right now. 
given everything that's going on in the world. Joby's kind of a fun lifestyle and activity brand, so these fit right in with that kind of brand image. That idea would be taking them out for a walk and talk vlog, uh, maybe some simple interview setup, some sort of lifestyle type of video content. That's where these are really gonna fit in well. I have a good feeling about that setup being accessible and the mics performing really well there. I got great runtime on my first charge. I wasn't able to measure the exact runtime, but their estimates of around six hours, I feel like that was pretty close to what I got before I started getting the battery indicator warning that I needed to charge the units again. And it shouldn't be hard getting signal near their estimated range of around 50 meters. So long as you've got clear air, sort of a clear line of sight, that, that seems doable, especially as I've tried to move a little bit further away from the camera, especially for these test setups. I don't think I'm fully 50 meters, but I think I'm still getting a pretty strong signal. Put any walls up and this range will obviously drop. I guess the last minor gripe I have, there doesn't seem to be any data port connection on the receiver. I think I think this is to keep the unit simple, but the USB-C is only used for charging. And it would have been nice if you could connect this to a PC or a phone directly over a single data cable for recording, and then you could have used the 3.5 millimeter to also monitor the audio through some headphones. Still, even for that last gripe, this is an impressive first effort. It's priced aggressively against similar systems, has some fun tricks for mounting and accessorizing, solid performance in terms of range, quality, and battery life, and it comes with microphone options in the box. You can go with the built-in mics or on a pair of labs. Like I said years ago, what's exciting is seeing an established lifestyle brand. This is a, this is a company that we know also walk into this space with some fantastic and flexible options. It really enhances the competition for people shopping solutions like these. The Wavo line is going to have some other fun entries too, like a shotgun and a podcast streamer mic. And we're getting to a point now where even hobbyists might consider spending a little cash to spruce up their audio. Switching from phone or camera microphones to unsubject audio is a huge step up in quality for your next family film project. Wireless mics are really fun. I will, of course, leave some links down below where you can find more information on the Joby Wavo line of microphones, specifically the Wavo Air, but also check out some of their other options. You might wanna shop some of these bad boys online. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, subscribing to the channel. Support has been greatly appreciated, either with those affiliate links or maybe you're picking up a little merch. Full list of all my affiliates and partnerships on somegadgetguy.com, or you might consider just maybe joining the list of names scrolling by on your screen from my Patreon, patreon.com slash somegadgetguy. This list of geeks is the coolest collection of pals in the universe. So I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Twitch, the Facebooks and the Instagrams, and I will catch you all on the next review.